Hello YouTube, this video is to show you how to do firmware updates to the Solar X inverter. So this, this applies to both the um, three phase and single phase. So you need to have the upgrade file on a USB stick. And then you're going to open right on it, there you see the USB stick right there? You're going to open there where it says upgrade, right? Upgrade, yes. And then you're going to stick this in. Once you stick it in, you come back and this screen will automatically display what you're trying to put in. So there are two files. There's an ARM file and DSP file. So you select it, you say OK, and it will search for the file, and then it will show you the file. You select the file, you push the select enter button, and boom, it will do the update. When you're done, it will, it will bring you back then you come back to the dsp file you go through the same it shows you what the file is you turn it off you go back and then when you want to do the update to the battery battery master does it. you're going to upgrade the battery master you select there's no upgrade file in here because we didn't put an upgrade file and that's all there is to it so it's not really that difficult you get the file uh, you store it in a particular format. You store it, store it exactly as I sent it to you. Don't store it as the zip drive, as a zip file. And then this will go in and find uh, what was sent to you. And you will push the update. Very short video on the Solar X, how to do the update on the Solar X um, inverter to update the firmware. So once you're done, you remove your stick. I remove the stick. Okay, system is off. We come back in, um, touch the menu button, system. We switch it on. And you wait a little bit. Okay, wait a little bit. I turned it on right. Okay, it just turned. Okay, it's trying to turn on. Okay, we might have killed it with this particular... F oh, it just turned on. As you can see, we have 230. So, that you're seeing 230, but our contactor has not released yet. Once our contactor releases, we'll have power come back into the, into the house. So, right now, there's no power in the house. Even though the inverter is sending power into our mid box, the contactor has to release. It takes about a minute, 30 seconds, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. And once it releases, we have power in the house. So there are two contactors in there, one for grid, and boom, we have power, everything is coming back on. That simple. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you have any comments, post them in the comment section below. I understand there are no videos on Solax doing upgrades, and this is us doing one for you. Thank you for watching. Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.